how are you all doing and welcome back to my channel my name is Em and if you're new here I'm from South Australia so guys I have a bird cage here this is an old bird cage that I have and I have a veggie in this one before and then I move it to other cage that behind me here because there are two birds in there now and this one is quite small and this one is just sitting in the corner doing nothing and I don't want to sell it or I don't want to throw it away because I know one day I can use it. And now I was thinking of maybe putting an arrangement inside the bird cage and put some succulent. And I have also a shelving down there below that I can put another arrangement down the bottom that is like a succulent as well. So guys, I already put a plastic pot in here, this brown plastic pot. And I need to use a plastic pot so I can squeeze it in to get through in this narrow door that this cage has. So I'm just going to dress it up a bit and cover probably the around the pots, cover around the pots with a, this one here, a fiber coconut one. So I'm just go do it now before I'm going to choose what sort of plants I'm going to use to put inside the arrangement. So this co uh, cocoa fiber, I'm I will just go put around it like this one here just to dress it up a bit and cover up this uh, plastic pot so we just cover this with cocoa fiber guys So guys, I just finished putting the cocoa fiber around and now what I'm going to do is gather my succulent. I still don't know what to put in that arrangement. So I'm just going to look around guys and see what sort of succulent that I can put in this arrangement. Now here we are guys in my bed garden undercover. And here's the rain gutter. So when I get time, guys, I'm going to remove them from the pot and then plant it in the rain gutter. So I'm going to use this one for arrangement. Maybe put something darker color. So this, move this one. So these are some of these guys are from leaf propagation, like the fantastic fountain. Look at the color, beautiful fantastic fountain they are all in my from leaf propagation this one leaf propagation even this gun guys is from leaf propagation black prints i'm going to use that too and put it in the project so i have already three big ones there and then maybe put some we have blue, we have black, we have green, maybe a bit of purple. Um, probably this super bomb. It's also a leaf propagation, it's a bit damaged, but that will do. Not sure what it will look like, guys, but see how it goes. I have a ionium here. It's summer, it's nearly autumn, but this one got a beautiful rosette and it's cuttings and it's been um, air drying for a while now. I can use this one as well for another different color in there. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I'll make two of it. There. I might use this ruby necklace, guys. Been, these are just a cuttings, ruby necklace cuttings as well. All right, guys, so I think I have enough in here, and if I'm not happy, I'll just get some more. I have a lot of here that I can really use in my arrangement. Here they are. The soil is ready. Plants is ready. Just me, it's not ready, <laughs> and I'm joking. Anyway, I have to put my gloves as well, and I have my tools here in this uh, organizer that I have. Now, the first thing that we'll do is put our soil. Here's our soil. Our soil is done. Now, to start with this arrangement, guys, I would like to do or uh, to plant some hanging in here in this side. And the only hanging one that 
is really good for full sun is this ruby necklace this one here it's still not a very stressed one and I'm going to plant it around here so when they grow and they're going to get stressed then I'll get a good nice color so that's what I'm going to do with this one guys and and see how it goes so I'm going to do a time lapse and this is what I do I'll just get some um, this string of ruby here and then I'm going to plant in here around it like that and make sure they touch the soil and just cover it with some soil I'm going to start with this Mexican giant here. I have a chroma here. So I'm going to put chroma in here. So I'm going to give them a little bit of room guys for um, for them to grow. And then after that I'm going to put this big um, Echeveria lipstick put the lipstick here this is just cuttings i might put it like that there i'll put a onion here so about that next one we will put another reset with which is this this one here i forgot the name but i'll put on the screen what's the name So if this is just a cuttings, it will be easy, but because it's not cutting, then it's hard to work with. So guys, I'm done planting all my big rosettes. What I'm doing now is planting my filler. One of my filler is this Wandering Jew. It adds some purplish color to my arrangement and I also use Crassula Camphor and Coral Jade. All right, guys, I managed to finish my um, bird cage. I'm just going to remove this flower here that growing in these black prints to avoid from mealybugs attacking. So I have a accessory here, which is a budgie, like my budgie over there, naughty one. And I'm just going to attach it on top. About that. So guys, I have a pot in here that it looks like a watering can. I already drilled a hole and I'm going to put a string of pearls inside here and then I'm going to hang it inside the cage. So let's do that. So here's my string of hearts guys and it's very long so I'm going to cut it. So I'm just going to put this copper fiber here like this this just to avoid the soil from washing away or washing out just like that just to prevent from the soil from washing out and, and there's a spout here I also put a I might just remove and clean it out, maybe there, that's about, and that's about it. I'm going to use a cable tie guys to attach it inside. So guys, I place my bird cage arrangement here in my um, greenhouse. I call this one greenhouse now because it looks like greenhouse at the moment, and where I stash all my succulent to protect from any weather condition. So I put this 
um, bird cage arrangement here in this corner here to receive at least a good amount of sunlight and I add up with a little bit of this um, crassula here that get a nice beautiful color so this is what it looks like inside it's gorgeous pretty and I also have string of pearls that I put inside hanging inside the cage with this beautiful watering can and I put a little bird there it's just like nesting in that watering pot so pretty and another accessories of mine which is a little bachi inside it's just hanging in there enjoying the scenery <laughs> enjoying surrounded by the plant they are so cute and this is what it looks like from a distance and I also put a nice um, little birdie on top of this um, wood or this branch here and I just attached that one with a cable tie and it's a nice addition on this cage as well and that's how it looks like here in my greenhouse I call now so here they are so guys before I go please allow me to say hello to my friend crafts and succulent by Jonah and if you have an ordinary pot and you want to enhance it and make it beautiful she got a lot of idea how to do that and if you want a beautiful succulent arrangement, she also have an idea for that. So don't forget to visit Crafts and Succulent by Jonah. So that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And I hope you like our project this weekend. And if you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. And as well as if you are my viewers and you're not subscribed yet, Please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and as well as don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time we have a new video like this you will be notified and you will not miss a thing and guys i hope that you will leave me a message as well in my comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can and happy weekend to everyone happy gardening guys enjoy every minute of it keep safe and I will see you next time. Bye!